So it's been one more day for the Blue Max down here to finish curing or drying. And now it's time to get this uh, test underway to see how well this is going to work. So I'm going to pull back this and then see if we can pull back this side as well. And I'm going to place this board in here. That way the uh, water will back up here, hopefully. Let's see if that's going to do it. Alright, so the water is going to back up and flow into the box and we'll be able to test out our new installation. Walk down here and start the flume back. Okay, fast forward a couple of days. Sorry for the noise. They're uh, putting in our well today for the house. So I've got the one inch pump and I went and bought uh, this piece here so that I could uh, connect the pump to our new drive pipe. So I'm gonna get this glued in here. Um, it's got threads on one side and socket on the other. On the other end of the pipe, I'm also going to put one of these threaded pieces in here, just like on the other side. So hopefully we can attach some uh, pipe to this as well. Just screw on there and reach that. So I was thinking, how can I make this wooden cistern waterproof? And that's when I remembered that I still have a bucket of pureed Smurf Village uh, that I can use to make this waterproof. So I think that's what we should do is just uh, smear this Blue Max all in here and just make this whole thing super waterproof because this stuff will certainly do it. So before I go doing a lot of painting with this Blue Max, I think I should shut off the flume as best I can. I still need to come back here and redesign this. I should not have cut this other flap because this can be picked up here and put over here. Essentially stopping the flume from working. So I never really had to cut that flap. So I don't think Blue Max is really supposed to be a glue. What I'm doing is plopping a hefty amount in here up next to this rubber to see if maybe that will uh, make a seal in here whenever uh, this is uh, dry. So I'm just gonna do that and kind of squish it down in there. That way maybe the water won't back up underneath here and get out. So we'll just see how it works. I'm going to return this uh, shower drain in here. Okay. See if I can push something against that, maybe some rocks. Make a tight seal with that Blue Max. Okay, got that pretty well covered. So I'm going to let it sit for a while. And I might give it a second coat and uh, make sure it has plenty of time to cure. So hopefully I put enough in here that when the water does back up to that height, it will uh, keep it inside of there. I mean, if it leaks, it's no big deal, but uh, it'd be nice to keep it in there. Now, eventually I'll probably just get a small tank and put it right here um, and use this same kind of design to get the water into the tank. And then wait, it'll just have plenty of uh, storage capacity to get the ram pump filled. So I got the Blue Max covered up because it's about to rain. And so I've got uh, some Teflon tape down here to get the threads uh, ready for the ram pump. Just gonna plop a 
a little of this on here. I don't think it needs a whole lot. Just a little. And then I'm gonna take this one inch side of the pump and screw it on here. Just like that. Now I have to admit, I have not thought out how this is going to sit down here. So I may be making a little wooden cradle for this pump. But for now I just want to see what it looks like when it's been attached here. So yeah, definitely need something to keep this upright. So uh, what I've done in the past is a decking board down here that um, I then kind of use some rebar into the ground so that may be a valid thing here I may have to dig out in here some to get this a little flatter let's take a look at what we have so far got the pump down here looking nice just needs to be anchored down so then our drive pipe comes up here attaches to that block attaches right here and then runs down let's take a look down here and see what we've got it's starting to rain on us so I've got this covered up down here for the rain and we'll just have to have a little connector pipe to go from the PVC to the hole over here. For the most part, the Blue Max has uh, dried on here. Still a little bit wet in the middle here, but I'll give it some time. So I'm going to reattach the Union down here. Now to span this gap, here's what I'm thinking. I've got uh, the other side of this Union here that I'll use, and then. I've got uh, some one inch pipe here. This can be screwed on. And then I've got uh, this one and a quarter that can be attached to this one. So there's a little bit of an issue about getting it uh, this little angle here, but I'm hoping this will flex just enough that I can get it uh, over there. Cause it's, I mean, it's not much of an angle, but it might pose a little bit of an issue. Let's we'll see what we can do here. Okay, I'm just going to reduce the hassle here of making this sharp curve by uh, backing out these screws and just moving this brace down enough to uh, allow this pipe just to come out some. I figure why make it more difficult than it has to be. It's not always my motto, but sometimes it is. Okay. So I'll return this brace here in just a minute. So basically you just have to have enough room for both of these inserts here. So maybe right about there ought to do it. So after a little toying around, here's what I've come up with. So I'm going to first take this union back off, and then I'm going to screw this piece on here. Uh, something to that effect. Now hopefully there's enough room in here to get this piece on. I should have cut it. Just a hair smaller. Let's see if I can push up any more of it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Well, that ought to do it. 
So here's what the official intake looks like. Got uh, goes from one inch PVC to one inch flex to one and a quarter flex, and then hits that union, and then goes in there. So I'll wait for this to uh, cure a little bit longer, a couple more days before we try it out. But for now, let's go down here to the pump and get this thing secure. Now you've seen me use this mounting method before. It's going to be a treated decking board with a piece of rebar. Now our house ran over this one when it was brought in, so it's a little crooked, but it should work just fine. So first thing I want to do is take some of this metal plumber's tape and the decking board. And now I'm going to simply put the board up under the pump here. Like such. Let's see. All right. There. Then I'm going to take this metal plumber's tape and I'm going to attach it on both sides of the uh, one way valve down here. Get that over some. And that will just keep the pump upright and supported as it's working. Keep it from tipping over. Okay. One more piece here. I like this method. I'm sure there's an infinite number of ways you can mount the pump like this, but this just seems to work well enough. Let me show you what that looks like now. Got that plumber's tape down there and the piece of rebar through the hole and that gives it a, a lot more support there. So it's been one more day for the Blue Max down here to finish curing or drying. And now it's time to get this uh, test underway to see how well this is going to work. So I'm going to pull back this and then see if we can pull back this side as well. And I'm going to place this board in here. That way the uh, water will back up here, hopefully. Let's see if that's going to do it. Alright, so the water is going to back up and flow into the box and we'll be able to test out our new installation. Walk down here and start the flume back. Okay. For the most part, that's good. Have to see if that's enough flow to keep the one inch going. Should be. Let's walk down here to the pump and see what's happening. Still some air bubbles to work out of that pipe. So I'm just opening and closing the valve here to kind of give a a pressure wave effect. Pull those bubbles out. 
I was wondering why it wasn't starting and it's uh, got air coming into it up here so I may have to lift this a little bit further to get the water to back up a little bit more because not quite enough is going in here yet. So added one more block under there, got the water way up. So now uh, there's definitely some leaks happening around that Blue Max. So eventually gonna have to redesign this box idea. Um, and then there's a couple of leaks in here which I probably won't worry much about those because they're small, but oh, the pump's getting ready to start down here. Go check it out. That air bubble is popping back out there. So, see how well this is gonna work. Oh yeah. I was able to purge the air out of the drive pipe and now it is clicking with some serious force. So, very excited to see that happening. Let's walk back up here and see how well the water is maintaining that output. Listen to that. This whole structure is shaking back and forth from the pressure of that ram. Nice. Doing very well to keep the pressure up. And that is quite a shake. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but shaking very loud. It sure is nice to have a more permanent solution for my ram pump install here. In the next video, I'm going to be testing out how high this pump will go. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I will see you next time. Bye.